And I, I think that one thing you can do is if you're working within an organization, um, if you make yourself irreplaceable, I know that this is just in my life, what I've done. When I see an employee who is, um, typically I'm always, no, no, there's a guy right now at work who beats me every day. And so uh, if, if he's watching there, you, you are beating me every day. And today, today I beat him now. I felt good about that. But normally he, he beats me now. You know, he's the new guy. He wants to beat me to work. And uh, very few people have done this though. And so when people beat me to work and you start looking around going, I start saying, well, what, what does he do? You know, and, and uh, Caleb, one of our guys says, well, he, he writes all the search engine articles. You know, this guy, and I'm like, really? Is he good? Oh, he's good. And so I start over time going, okay, I need to find opportunities for right. this guy because he's a hard worker. So you definitely can show your, um, your value there, but at the same time, uh, you can't really get, get mad if you're, pay is in a, at a certain level because it is just determined by the, the, the market value. And so you really have to just know what that, I mean, if you're in an industry that has a low market value for what you're doing, you, you, it's just maybe switch industries or? That's right. And, and I'll, a, a very quick story. I had an employee that worked for me early in my career who would come in periodically with uh, job offers that he was getting from other mm -hmm. uh, banks. I didn't think they were probably real job offers and knowing the individual I, yeah. I really doubted it i really actually didn't even mind if the individual took those job offers so about <laughs> three offers in i accepted his resignation he there was no job offer mm. it was a strategy to get me to pay him more <laughs> uh, over time yeah. and so he had to go home and tell his family uh, that he had just uh, resigned from his position because he presented a fake job offer oh Job oh. offers on the flip side, if they're real, and yep. if you are a pro and you're the best at what you do, they are the way to set your market mm -hmm. pay. You know, yeah. I mean, if you get a real legitimate offer over here that's fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 higher than where you are, then it's gonna force your employer to set your market pay. And it is a real legitimate, but you better make sure you really have the offer, you know, before you do it and, and would, you're willing to take and, it. And I want to bring up this little example though for you. If you're somebody who owns a business, you're probably going to make far less than anybody else. Or if you're an investor in a business, you'll probably make far less than anybody else for a long, long time. Right. But then you, the, the theory is on the upside, you would make vastly more. I think where you get in trouble is if you're not an equity owner, if you're not an investor and you're getting paid less than your market value and you have no opportunity at any point make a big leap there, right. you really just, you, you have to understand you're, you're a free agent in today's economy and you, you really are. do have to look for the best opportunities for yourself and, and for your family. Correct. Now, life lesson number 10, be patient. Life is a marathon and not a sprint. Now this right here, this cuts me, uh, it, it cuts to my 19 year old soul when I was 19. I remember, man, I thought I'm gonna buy that first sweet DJ system. I'm gonna buy those speakers, those lights. I'm gonna get six systems. Padow! I'm just, bam, it's gonna be awesome. Right. And not knowing that I'd have to build performas and fire 25 people to find my top 10 and all this stuff. And so I was going at burnout mode. And so, and I'm not exaggerating. I literally, Sean, about every three months would end up like sleeping in the closet for a 24 hour period because I would tell my wife, I'm like, here it comes, I'm getting stressed. And uh, my wife would just say, you gotta pace yourself. What are, you, what are you doing? And so part of that entrepreneurial bug is we like to rush at it. Talk to me about how you've been able to, because you're ambitious yes. and I know you wanna grow fast, but you also wanna grow in a sustainable way and maintain that family balance. How, how are you able to do it? How do you, what, what advice would you have for us on that? Well, you hit the nail on the head. I, I, I think patience is important for two reasons. I think one, it's important because of balance. I think that you have a great family, so you've been able to balance the two. Many people cannot. So they go at burnout uh, pace, and all their relationships are forgotten. And so all of a sudden they wake up and they've been very successful uh, financially, but they have no family, you know, nobody's around them. And so I don't think that's a good outcome either. So I think, that's, I think that is one reason to be patient. Um, and, 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 move at a, at a reasonable pace. However, I think, the, I think the bigger reason to be patient is because you need to develop certain skills. Mm. You don't, uh, we're not born 
with certain skills. It, we learn them over time. You know, I would argue that my ascent within the banking industry has possibly been too fast because even today there are certain things that come up. Thankfully, I have a very strong executive team and they're trustworthy and I can believe them and so they, they kind of fill in the gaps that I uh, have, but I would argue that I would have been better off doing this, you know, buying the bank now rather than six years ago mm. so that I would have had six more years of growth and development as a leader, as a banker. Um, I think I think we would have been more successful. So I think the patience for me really comes from um, allowing your skills to develop and the opportunity will come along when it's right. You don't have to force opportunities in this life. When you become the best, the opportunities will, will avail themselves.